Hello and welcome. This is episode 3 of a book review series within the podcast Engineer to Manager. I'm your host, Oleg Mestrenko. In this podcast, we are diving into the essence of engineering management. Apart from the interview with the experienced EMs, we host this series of EM-related book reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. The book today is from Jerjeli Orsh. It's called The Software Engineer's Guidebook. This book was released in February 2023. Jerjeli is the author of The Pragmatic Engineer, the number one technology newsletter on Substack. He also advises mobile.dev, where he helps to set standards for for mobile development. Previously, he worked at Uber, Skyscanner and Skype and built traditional software at JP Morgan. This book was chosen because it is from a well-known newsletter author and it shares a promise to navigate senior tech leads and staff engineer par- positions at tech companies and startups. If you'd like to have your favorite book reviewed, put it in the comments below. This book contains 27 chapters that are organized in six standalone parts. The parts are building up on their engineering ladder. Part 1 is called Developer Career Fundamentals. This part covers the essential for building a successful career in software engineering, such as understanding company types, their interview process, different career tracks and setting goals, as well as thriving in different environments. As an example of an engineering career, the book refers to Mark Simelson, who was a guest in episode 21. Part 2 is called Their Competent Software Developer. It focuses on the skills and knowledge necessary to become a proficient developer. These skills include mastering the core software engineering concept and practices, breaking down the work, estimating, writing clean and maintainable code, understanding system design and improving problem-solving abilities. It also stresses the need for continuous practice in programming and learning used tools in the development process. Part Three is called the well-rounded software engineer. This part builds up on the previous part by going from the software development to software engineering. The latter is a broader topic that comes into play as a developer climbs up the career ladder. For this level, the book emphasizes the need for technical excellence combined with leadership skills. This part covers the basics of system architecture, scalability and performance optimization. It also discusses the importance of mentoring junior developers, fostering a collaborative team environment and contributing to technical decision-making process. Additionally, it highlights the role of senior engineers in driving projects to successful completion and maintaining high quality standards. Part 4 is called their pragmatic tech lead. This book covers skills needed for effectively leading technical teams such as managing and delivering projects to production, stakeholder management, understanding team dynamics, delegating tasks, and facilitating productive collaboration. This part also emphasizes the importance of clear communication and conflict resolution. The book addresses how to guide the team through complex projects and make strategic technical decisions. Part 5 is called Role, Model Staff and Principal Engineers. As the book describes, engineers on this level influence the company by technical directions and drive innovation. This part covers the importance of mentorship, cross-team collaboration, and fostering a culture of excellence. It also discusses managing complex projects, architectural oversight, and setting technical standards. The goal is to equip staff and principal engineers with the knowledge to make a significant impact on their organization and act as a role model for others. Part 6 is called Conclusion. It is the last part that wraps up the guidebook with an advice on lifelong learning, keeping up to date with the industry and staying curious and taking care of yourself. This book mirrors a tech career, offering insights into the hard and soft skills needed at various stages in software engineering. This guide is particularly beneficial for newcomers to the industry, of those uh, contemplating their future career paths, providing comprehensive yet introductory overview of what to expect and how to navigate a career in software engineering. Their practical advice and layered complexity make it as useful reference for understanding and evolving challenges and skills required at different career stages. This book is aimed more at software engineers. Covering a lifelong career path at 400 pages comes at a price. Due to its breadth, 
The topics are relatively shallow and they should be seen as a start point for further studies through their external sources. The book is self-published, meaning that it hasn't been reviewed by a traditional publisher. However, Jejeli's professional writing maintains a high quality, though some may question it would be an accepted by a publisher. As usual, I decided to review three selected chapters from their book that I find particularly interesting to show you the feeling of the book. Chapter 12 is called Collaboration and Teamwork. This chapter addresses the challenges engineers face when working in teams, emphasizing communication, collaboration and teamwork as baseline expectation for senior software engineers. It covers six topics. The first one is a good code review. A good code review examines a change and how it fits in the code base. This includes communication with correct tone, understanding when to switch from commenting to talking, and ensuring the same quality bar for everyone. Second topic is a pair programming or pairing up. It highlights working together on the same problem, useful for onboarding, planning, architecting, and understanding process. The next topic is mentoring either formally or informally. The chapter explains a framework of questions and good behavioral patterns for both a mentor and mentee. The fourth topic is giving a positive constructive feedback. Their feedback session is barely two pages long. Their chapter finishes with a topic of working with other engineering teams and influencing other through um, proactive collaboration, involvement, and sharing your results across the company. Chapter 21 is called Understanding the Business. For their staff plus engineer, there is often more work than one can handle. This chapter focuses on understanding the business to correctly prioritize tasks. Their key concepts are North Star, KPIs, and OKRs, which define the team's strategy and roadmap. It is crucial to question if the right things are being measured. Engineers should adopt different perspectives, such as that of a product manager and customers identifying their product business values and SWOT. Connecting with colleagues in various roles is vital, uh, though often neglected. Public company engineers should study public results to stay updated, while startups results are usually transparent internally. Finally, understanding the industry, key players, and following news is essential. Chapter 26 is called Lifelong Learning. Great engineers never stop learning. There is always something new and interesting to understand and use. You can achieve this by following at least five rules as shared in the book. Stay curious, don't be afraid to ask questions why and how until you get answers and be humble. Keep on learning by pairing and shadowing, having a mentor or mentoring someone, or following self-guided learning paths. When you share what you've learned, it often helps you to dive deep into the topic. Keep challenging yourself is number three, Keep up with the industry as the only constant in technology is change. And finally, number five, don't forget to give yourself a break from it all. Don't feel guilty about doing so. Their Software Engineer's Guidebook is a book that scratches the surface of most of the topic in the software engineering. It provides a set of expected skills from engineers at various levels. However, I have to admit the book is not very deep. I would recommend it for software developers at the beginning of their career ladder. For more experienced software engineers, it could be interesting to consult the book on selected topics. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, please share it with your friends and colleagues. Also suggest your books for the review. Stay tuned for our next episode and remember to keep learning and growing in your engineering management journey.